It's Wednesday, and that means it's time for JT's Bang Bang Plays of the Day for the seven-game DraftKings slate. Starting early at 6.10 p.m. tonight. And the first thing we have to talk about is the weather. Of the seven games, only one of them has a projected first pitch temperature above 50 degrees. That game is in Boston, but it also comes with a potentially torrential downpour. And that game has a about a 65% chance of being postponed. The pitching is not all that great either. At the top end, guys like Aaron Savale and Tyler Male and Corey Kluber are priced at points that I just don't think they're going to meet tonight. So I'm going to look at three pitchers in the mid-range, beginning with that game in New York. Ian Anderson with a 29% strikeout rate against a Yankee team that, look, has been bad to start the season is probably an understatement. They are striking out. They are not hitting the ball hard. And they are not hitting the ball in the air. And Ian Anderson has a 50% Ground ball rate, he hasn't been great to start the year, but I will take his talent at the 8.4K price point. Another guy I'm going to look at, David Peterson in Chicago. It is brutally cold in Chicago. The wind is blowing in, and this Chicago Cubs team strikes out, at least so far this year, at a 32% clip against left-handed pitchers. Peterson reasonably priced at 7.1K on DraftKings. That's a guy that I'm going to be looking at tonight in the mid-range. And then one more guy that is a little bit riskier. He's going up against the Tampa Bay Rays, who did explode last night for 14 runs. But Jake Junis has improved a bit this year. He's developed a cutter. He is 6.4K tonight against the Tampa Bay Rays. As far as the stacks, again, I think offense is going to be a little bit of a challenge to come by tonight with the weather, with a lot of games where the wind is going to be blowing in. But I think there's two spots that clearly stand out to me a little bit. The first of those is in Cincinnati. The wind is blowing out there a little bit, even though it is pretty cold. The Cincinnati Reds taking on Merrill Kelly and the Arizona Diamondbacks. This team has been hot offensively to start the year, and Merrill Kelly has not been hot. He does not strike out a lot of people. He gives up a lot of fly balls and a lot of home runs. And for the Cincinnati Reds tonight, I think you could look to Tyler Naquin, Eugenio Suarez, Joey Votto, and even Kyle Farmer, who did hit a home run last night. He's picked it up at the bat over the course of the past week. The Cincinnati Reds, I think, make a lot of sense on this slate. The second spot I'll go to is right back to New York. Back to the Atlanta Braves. We saw their offense start to wake up over the weekend. They are dealing with some injuries. Ronald Acuna Jr., questionable to be in the lineup tonight. But the wind is blowing out to right field to that short porch in Yankee Stadium, 17 miles an hour. And Corey Kluber has just not been good to start this season. He hasn't been good for the last couple of seasons, dealt with injuries, and has been away from the game and now back. And he's been giving up a lot of the long ball to start the season, a rate of greater than two home runs per nine innings. Freddie Freeman is priced up. He's 5.9. There's some discussion about the fact that he won't have contract negotiations during the season. I'd be really surprised if he left the Atlanta Braves, but that doesn't matter for tonight. I think he's going to take advantage of Corey Kluber and that win blowing out to right field. Marcelo Zuna, Travis Darnot, And Ozzie Albies are also guys in that Atlanta Braves lineup that I think can put the ball in play and put up some runs tonight. And if you're trying to round it out and make a five-man stack, Austin Riley has been bad to start the season, but a 21% walk rate over the last five games. I think he and Dansby Swanson are going to pick it up offensively. They are both priced pretty reasonably on DraftKings tonight. So, That does it. JT's Bang Bang Plays of the Day. Seven games. Tonight's DraftKings slate. Good luck, guys.